for a diabetic who, first of all, recognizes they have diabetes, second of all, recognizes that they have some problems with being able to feel their feet, their toes are numb and that kind of thing, the first and foremost thing they need to do is every night they need to sit down and look at the bottom of their feet. Make sure they don't have a sore between their toes, on the bottom of their toes, on the bottom of their foot. And if they're developing a callus in any spot, a callus is usually the first sign that you're having recurring trauma to an area. We always talk about the calloused hands of the village blacksmith. Well, there's a reason. It's because he holds a hammer every day and he constantly has the trauma of the, of the handle on his uh, hand causing the calluses uh, that he has uh, that they talked about in the poems. But um, uh, the, that's the first thing the diabetic can do. The second thing they need to do is never go barefooted. Barefooted is a kiss of death for a diabetic foot. Um, all it takes is um, a hot cement around a swimming pool, a small piece of glass, um, a small piece of wire, uh, stumping the tip of a toe and knocking the toenail off. Those are the things that always cause problems in diabetic feet. So making sure that they have shoes on most of the time will help reduce or decrease the number of uh, episodes of trauma that they may have to their foot. The third thing is that whenever they go to get shoes, they need well-fitting shoes. They need to actually measure their feet. Don't make an assumption that since I'm, when I was 18, I wore a size 10 and a half, and now I'm 55 and I still wear a 10 and a half, because a lot of times they now wear 11 and a half wide, okay? Because the feet change over time. Diabetics also have, with their neuropathy, an issue called Charcot joints. Charcot joints are joints that, when they lose their innervation, they begin to deteriorate. Uh, joints require innervation to be able to maintain their integrity. So, as the joints uh, deteriorate, the foot changes in shape and form Bones tend to drop down and cause pressure where they wouldn't have otherwise within a pair of shoes. And also feet widen and they change in shape. Getting a well-fitted pair of shoes is a very important thing for a diabetic, particularly if they're gonna be doing a lot of walking.